What's up guys, it's Vehicle Master 3000 here. What you're looking at today is the 2022 Max Action 2-in-1 uh, dump truck slash front loader thingy. If you remember my last video, it was in the box. And I said a full review coming soon. Well, I decided it's going to be now. So this is actually really cool. And it does do more than what was shown in that box. It's, it, had, it was on demo. And it does do a little bit more. It's not fast by any means. None of the max action vehicles are really known for speed. At least none of the ones that I have are really known for speed. So... It's not fast, but it does go a decent distance. And the dumper thing is really cool. So, like I said, I got this at Target. If you didn't ever see the um, the, the in the box video, I said I got it at Target there. So anyway, on to the review. So in the front here, we have like the front scoop loader. It looks kind of like a rake. Cause it's got like the little blade kind of thing like a rake does well, it looks kind of like a plow or something i don't know i'm not i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be an inside toy because of the way the motors are but if this was an outside toy i'm pretty sure this thing could scoop some dirt and this goes up and down by motor and this piece moves up and down a little bit and it also has another piece that moves a little more but anyway yeah it's like a rake and then you got, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's up, or because the rake is down, but there's the grill. It has writing or something on it. I don't know. Anyway, there you got the small hood and kind of area, then the windshield. You got some lights on top, some cab lights. Then you got the dumper bed, which is pretty wide. And stuff looks pretty real I think it's got like the back of it kind of slants a little bit it, and it's got oh, like it's like enclosed a little tiny bit like like it's open on top but like in the bottom it's not like the Road Ripper's Caterpillar dump truck where the bed's just the bed just ends it actually has like a back to it so let's see if I can show the back yeah here's the back of it Here's the bottom. I'm not sure what kind of information is on the bottom of these Max Action vehicles. You can see it's got treads for its wheels. It's got pretty big wheels. So here's on this side, there's like some steps, model steps. And on this side is where your buttons are. You have forward, circle, reverse, and these little joysticks that one this one on the right is for the is for the uh, dumping thing the bed the one on the left is for the, the front end loader so i'm gonna demonstrate it now circle button also there's no other review or at least no other full review on youtube of this i've tried i tried looking the only other video of it is one that's in demo mode and it's like a short it's a, it's a youtube short it's not a full video so this is the first full video which is kind of surprising considering this is pretty common right now
And as you can hear, the motor is really quiet. That's something I do like about these Max Action vehicles. Is the motor is really quiet. So now we're gonna let this piece up here go up. So I'm gonna try and show that the best. And I also brought a road ripper out here, a small one, to demonstrate what this will do also. I brought a small road ripper out here. I'm gonna let it do on it like without anything in the bucket, then I'm gonna demonstrate that it can what it does when it has weight in it. So I'll run a small river right here for that. So here. Alright, let me try to see. Alright, that was a quick up and down. As you can see, this little piece moves, that, that right there moves, and this room moves. And then when it has weight, it'll tip over like that and it like tips its load, which is why I think that technically this thing probably can't move outside, but I'm sure this thing could scoop some dirt. I'm gonna let it dry, but usually when I do this, I like to um, put this piece up a little bit because I think it's kind of weird with it dragging the ground. There you go. So now I'll just kind of just straight up and down. So now I'm gonna let it dry. It's not fast, but it did travel all the way over here. So it is long distance. So I'm sure you saw something of that. Forward and backward, you saw it. You got the idea. Now I'm gonna show what happens with, now I'm gonna show what happens when you put something in it. So I got this mini 2011 uh, mini monster trucks bone saw. I gotta put it in the bed or in the little front loader. You can see it fits in there perfectly. It fits right in. So hopefully it doesn't fall out. Grip isn't very good. I did this once. I forgot it to work. I just gotta get it up in the air and make sure it's gonna. Yeah. Right, we're just gonna start from right here because it keeps trying to fall. So as you can see, it's now up in the air. We'll let it down. All right, now we're gonna let it tip, tip it over. So I don't know if you're able to see that because it was kind of close, but as you can see, I'm gonna let the dumper thing go down. You see there is now a truck in the bay. And if you flip it over, it fits just right inside. So this is actually really cool. Like I said, I'm sure this thing, this thing could haul some dirt if the motors were strong enough to push it through that. I don't think they are. So I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe for more content like this. Peace out.